everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share some new information about Moana 2. Firstly, the sequel begins with Moana returning home to Montanui via a new song called We're Back. Moana has been searching for other inhabited islands to try to reunite Oceania, but she has so far been unsuccessful. However, on her latest voyage, she found an artifact that could help her. A clay jar with a drawing of a mountain beneath a constellation. Moana shows her father this jar and he understands its significance. Secondly, at the beginning of the film, there is a ceremony where Moana's father is going to pronounce Moana Tortai, which means the master of man and sea. However, during the ceremony, lightning strikes the hut. It sends Moana a vision from the distant past and has her commune with the last Tortai. His name is Matai Vasa and they are featured in the song We Know the Way from the first movie. However, when he communes with Moana, he takes the form of a whale shark. He tells Moana about an island called Motu Fitu, which once connected all the islands of her people, but is currently under a curse from the God of Storms. Thirdly, to take on the God of Storms, Moana's mother Sina insists that she assemble a crew to join her this time. The crew includes Heihei, Pua, Loto, Kile and Moni. The crew's first roadblock is a group of Kakamora. However, a giant clam with tentacles rises up to feast, threatening both groups. One of the Kakamora ships is consumed by the beast and Moana and her crew try to get away before being poison darted by the Kakamora. However, one of the Kakamora joins Moana's quest. Their name is Kotu and they are described as the Kakamora equivalent of Moana. Fourthly, at Annecy, a sequence was shown of Maui in some kind of cave next to a large pearl. Maui is being taunted by a largely unseen presence who talks about how him making Moana a wayfinder has proved a larger threat to their plan. This unseen presence, voiced by an Australian actress, works for the God of Storms. She warns Maui that the God Nalo is going to destroy Moana if he doesn't go protect her. The rap said there's something going on in this scene because Maui is saying that he only used Moana to get his magic hook back. There's no emotion or sentimentality there. Maybe he's trying to protect her. Anyway, that is all for today. Like this video if you liked it and please subscribe. It would mean so much to me. Bye now and have a magical day.